when you first watch Derby, uh, somebody a few years ago explained it absolutely perfectly. They says it looks like a, a beautifully choreographed mosh pit on skates. And when you first watch roller derby, you have no idea what's going on. It's just, it looks like a hot mess, but it's literally one of the only sports that play offense and defense at the same time. So you have five people from each team out on the track at one time. Four of those people from each team are blockers and one are called jammers. Jammers are the ones with stars on their helmets. They're also the only ones that could score points during the bout, which is what we call our games, our bouts. Jammers line up behind the line, blockers line up in front of the line. When the whistle goes, the jammers have to fight their way through the opposing blockers. The first one to get out is called lead and they're able to call off the jam, which is almost like football, they're a series of plays and we call our plays jams. Once a jammer gets through the first time, they're then eligible to start scoring points by passing the hips of every opposing player the team with the most points wins. I started playing roller derby in 2013 with the Dutchland Rollers, and I met you know, my, a skook boy, and I moved up here to Schuylkill County where there was no roller derby. I heard that there was talk of a roller derby team kind of starting, but never really got off the ground. When the first roller derby team tried to start here, the roost wasn't at a point where they wanted to have roller derby just yet. But when I approached, I actually invited the managers and owners to a game that I was playing down in Lancaster. And I, I got them like VIP seats and they came and they watched and they just fell in love with it. And they kind of let me start having practices here and there. And then I started accumulating girls by <laughs> scoping out the talent here at the Roller Roost at their, their public sessions. And I started, I, before I knew it, I had six girls. And then we had a first open recruitment September 12th, 2018, where I accumulated like 20 more people. We've had this core people that have just been here since the beginning. And uh, they trained from almost not being able to know how to skate. So now they're, they're knocking poor old Lolly around. <laughs> um, you're like, oh, derby girls, tattoos, weird hair. No, uh, we have, yeah, we have tattoo artists. We have singers of bands. We also have school teachers and we have nurses and we have uh, public transportation workers and all kinds, like we're just a mix of people that uh, maybe n might not have mashed up or knew each other or met prior to derby, but now that they have derby, it's almost like we became family.